well, my grandfather worked for the Pennsylvania Railroad, of course, back in the days of steam. And uh, he um, worked on the K4 steam locomotives, of course, the one that was restored in Altoona 1361 back in the 1980s. And as a young child, of course, diesels had already come by then. I was born in 1965, but he was still working for then. It was the Penn Central Railroad. And many times he'd take me down to the Juniata shops and the Samuel Ray shops to actually look at the work being done there. And, and I've just always had a fascination with steam, seeing all of the mechanical components working. And when I learned that the Reading T12100 a Pennsylvania rail, uh, locomotive was coming here to the Cleveland area and I just lived two hours away. I naturally wanted to get involved with the organization of the project. Well, today we starting the process of mounting some brackets back on the locomotive to secure things so we're uh, we're putting on the uh, mud pan brackets around the mud ring uh, we cleaned up the bell bracket the last couple of weeks uh, and got it painted well the big one we just got finished up today everybody is we got the bell hung back up <laughs> which is good now we also need to do some work on the clapper mechanism one of the uh, parts in there does have some damage to it so we are going to replace that but at least the bell is hung back up until we get the clapper and the air actuator parts uh, back uh, mounted in there Based on the estimates that we have from our professional contractors and vendors uh, and the work that we have documented that needs done, because the locomotive has been pretty thoroughly gone through, of course, $245,000 is the monetary amount that we still need to raise to finish the locomotive, and that includes a beautiful new paint job as well. So that would be ready for testing and brake and running and a nice new paint job. Uh, on the rods, several of the rod brasses are going to need to be remade or reboard and replaced. Uh, also, the locomotive, it seems to be, is a little out of alignment on the front axle, so there'll be what needs to be tramming done. And these are all basic maintenance items that need to be done to a steam locomotive from time to time, so no real major items there. Well, we've spent a lot of time on the firebox. Uh, we had to weld in some new uh, boilerplate on the inside of the firebox where it was too thin, so we, uh, we had to cut it all out, re remove the stay bolts, weld in the new sheets. Uh, and right now we're in the process of uh, finishing up the stay bolts, getting them machined and forged into place, and then we'll, uh, we'll weld them to, to the position that they need to be in. Uh, that's going to take a little bit more money. We, uh, we've paid for everything up to, to this point, and we'll need to uh, accumulate a little more money to pay for the welding to get them installed. We have a $21 a month uh, group and club. That's always popular and that helps out tremendously or any set dollar amount per month or even just a one-time donation. We also have many wonderful items on our website store that you can get, such as a video on Howard Zane's Model Railroad, hats, t-shirts, polo shirts, prints, and you can even buy an old serialized and stamped stable from the 2100 or so for $69 that allow us to buy a new one to put in the firebox. The second uh, thing that's available to just about anybody who is willing uh, to get their hands a little bit dirty, you know, let's say a lot dirty, um, is to come out here at the, the B and O Roundhouse in Cleveland and assist in the mechanical uh, functions that are going on with the locomotive. Uh, most of all, the ancillary equipment uh, is ready and fu functioning, so uh, you know, it's time to put start putting things back together. 
So you can go visit us at www.fireup2100.org.